prophet's question is, yes, we can thrive again. We are 1,000 people strong again for the first time in four years. Make some noise. Boston Interfaith Organization, GBIO, welcome to our Housing Justice Campaign Action. Power, we know the sound, and given the constraints of these last few years, these pandemic years, there is a special sweet resonance to that sound tonight. As we connect, as we rise, and as we say together, everyone deserves a home. Everyone deserves a home. Everyone deserves, one more time, everyone deserves a home. These are your people, God tells this prophet. It's the foot bone connecting with the ankle bone and the Arlington bone connecting with the Brookline bone. It's the South Boston bone connecting with the Roxbury bone. It's us, GBIO. She, she has given me the great honor of reporting that the total we have is 1,365. With the waves of gentrification, now we are one of only three remaining historically black congregations in the South End. While many have been turned into million dollar luxury condos. The skyrocketing cost of living in the South End, and it seems next to impossible that a pastor like me for Union could ever live in the neighborhood where our church building resides. For Cape Codders and Islanders, it is now virtually impossible for millennials and Generation Z to make a life on our peninsula and in our islands. And we desperately need a transfer fee to get this done. Massachusetts economy has grown. We've added thousands of jobs over the decades, but for many reasons, we simply have not built enough housing. So I'm here tonight because I believe that this issue can no longer be the work of only a small group of us. This must be the work of all of us, all across our state. My name is Michelle Wu. I committed to 200 million. We put in 234 million. This next batch of funding through the transfer fee is a small, small ask that would result in up to $100 million a year, affecting just about 7% of real estate transactions in Boston to deliver all of this and more. Keep it up. We're with you. Thank you. So what we need from you all, what we need from the governor, from the mayor, like we need to pass this ID uh, legislation to ensure that everybody who gets out is gonna have uh, that access to, to their freedom after they serve their time. I'm just thankful that if we could get these bills passed and we can get more opportunities like this so we can all have a, a true uh, fight against recidivism. Thank you. Since I only have two minutes, I can't discuss the ways people who pay their debt to society are still hampered by a criminal record so they can obtain public housing or even stay with relatives who are in public and or subsidized housing. So if we talk about reducing recidivism, if we talk about setting up our neighbors for success, we can't send them back home when they don't have the proper paperwork to take care of themselves. I remember broken windows that weren't unfixed upon request. Never forgetting the whispers of the cold and the adults' conversations struggling to make the hard choices of what bills to pay. There will always be people who need state housing. 189,000, we have to have state housing. Good homes, good careers, they're all human rights. Our communities deserve access to safe, reliable, affordable housing, and access to safe, family, and neighborhood sustaining careers. And sadly, my developments need 23 million, and I get 224. What does that buy us? A bucket, some duct tape, and some prayers. Because I need prayers, because I cannot keep these buildings safe any longer. Your impact on Massachusetts has always been with an eye on helping our most vulnerable neighbors, and it's inspiring. Across criminal justice reform, health care, and now housing, when GBIO chooses a goal, you do it with intention and purpose. You're often the folks on the ground who are advocating for stronger communities, standing up for those vulnerable, those without a voice, and fostering a sense of urgency that's needed to tackle 
our most pressing challenges. Frankly, nothing is more important to government and democracy than those sorts of actions. So when GBIO speaks, we listen. We're unique. We have 47,000 units of housing that's state-owned, that's public, and we need a whole lot more. Allah, God, we know that in this climate of uncertainty, in the housing market, in the treatment of those unhoused is not, is not caused by you. We pray that you touch the conscience and the heart of those in authority to support our housing justice action campaign through sufficient funding. Everybody deserves a home.